hard, working every day. Not a lazy mom, got no time to play. Always on the go. We start on the flow, but it's time for the show. Welcome back to another episode of Not for Lazy Moms, Dads, and Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be a common trend. Oh, this is going to be such a fun episode because from what I gather, this is actually really common. So what do you do when you love your friend but not their kids? What happens when you have a best friend and you both have children, but then you realize you prefer your friend minus their kid? <laughs> so it's like, I love you, but I can't stand your child. Uh, <laughs> you know, so you would think that if they're your best friend and you have that type of chemistry, that you would produce a baby that would have the same chemistry, right? Of you course. Would and when you and your friend both have kids, you're like, this is going to be amazing because they'll grow up together. They'll become right. best friends. And then you meet the kid and you're like, eh. no. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just go ahead and put this this uh, disclaimer out here for any of my friends who are listening before you go getting all insecure and wondering, oh, my God, is she talking about me? Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, I may be, but I may be not. You know, this, these are situations that tend to happen, but we figured out ways to get past them. Right, Chris? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so um, I just want to start talking about, you know, I mean, Ali, you, I'm sure you've experienced this before. And, you know, what do we do? Why do we have these moments of, you know, you love your friend, but not their kids? Is it the way they parent their child or... Is it just that the kid is bad as I don't know what and they don't listen? Or is it that your friend completely changes into this different anxious person when their kid is around? Oh, you know, yeah, like that's yeah. the thing, too, where I'm like, I don't even know you right now. Yeah, it's almost like dating a little bit mm -hmm. like when you don't like the guy that your friend's dating or, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, but then it's worse because it's their seed. Well, yeah, <laughs> no, their child, they're going to choose. I mean, I would hope they anywhere. choose their kid over you. Like, right. <laughs> I don't know. Some might want to turn their child in. <laughs> oh, Lord, you never know. But I just I think for me, um, one reason why it can be an issue is is if the kid just does not listen. If the yeah. child is bad and you don't want them to rub off on your kid. Mm -hmm. You know, we spend a lot of time putting in work with our babies, you know, training them up, making sure they're respectful, use their manners, um, not running wild. And it could take just one moment of them seeing another kid while out. And bam, now you got to help your child unlearn all that work. For you got to you detox you your child. That's right. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Yes. And it's not an easy thing once a child is exposed to something to go backward. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so um, I, it's like for me, I'm just like, oh, Lord, please don't rub off on my kid. Um, you know, not that my kid is perfect. You know, some of my friends may not like my kids. I was just about to say <laughs> that they probably hate our kids. <laughs> no one hates kids. No one hates kids. Uh, I, some I people hate kids. Is. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I remember growing up, we had a, a cousin who she only liked her own kids. She ain't like us. <laughs> <laughs> well, more like was us. a little bit off the chain as kids. Oh though. man, this is the type of situation um, that you know. My, my maiden name is Cox. Um, don't laugh at that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I just laughed at that. But anyway, <laughs> my maiden name is Cox. So whenever the Cox family <laughs> came around, it got turned immediately. Um, I mean, we were loud. We could walk into a house. Where it, it, I'll give you one example in particular. Shout out to my cousins, the Reeds. I love them. Growing up, we had so much fun with them. And they had a house of five kids, mm. two parents. And we would come into their house just with us and our little three, you know, me, my sister, my brother, my two parents. And their house would be completely silent. They would be doing their homework or I mean, they were perfect. And we would come up in there and then it was just like, ah! <laughs> we were loud. We were all over the place. Like we were that family. So wait, <laughs> did you like run off? Like, were you the kid that you don't like of your parent, of your friend's kids? Do you know what I mean? Probably. Yeah, I, I, can <laughs> I see was, that. I was, I was rather annoying when I was younger. And um, I, I do notice that my kids tend to do the same thing. Like they just act crazy for no reason. Like the other day, me and Hank were in the living room. And I just looked at Hank and I was like, look at my crazy kids. <laughs> and my son is stuffing blankets in his shorts, in his shirt, and he's just laughing and just acting crazy. And then I look at my daughter and you would think that she was just sitting there being a perfect angel, but she was clowning too. She's watching TV and she's chewing. So Hank is like, I said, look at her. I said, my, my kids are crazy. They act just like me. And he's like, what's she eating? I said, nothing. Absolutely I, nothing. Acting like an 85-year-old chewing. She's chewing on air. <laughs> on like, nothing. She's chewing on so, air. So Hank asked her. He's like, Milani, what, what you chewing on? 
nothing. It's pretend. Do you want some? Do <laughs> you want some? And she's just a smacking and chewing, just sitting there, just chewing for no reason. I like, love when kids play pretend, by the way. Yes. I think it's like actually, it's the cutest thing to me. But this isn't the behavior that you're talking about. Like when, you know, like they're just yeah. being kids. You're right. talking yeah. about like pushing, biting, hitting, running away. Right. right. Like or if you talking if, back, being talking disrespectful. Back, exactly. That's the main thing. Yeah. The mm-hmm. disrespect. And whenever, you know, when I was younger and we had people come over to our house to play, they abided by our rules. It's our home. Mm-hmm. So I don't like when kids come over to your house and they're playing with your kid's stuff and they are just like taking it from your kid. Oh, that, that fires me up. I'd so like, what no. do you do? <laughs> um, you know, I, I just try to play it cool and, you know, and I'm, I'll, I'll even go over and just say, well, that's not nice. You know, if you want to share, you got to share. And then I'll even remind my kids if they're being stingy with their toys. I'm like, you have guests, so you need to share your things, you know. And um, but yeah, but certain things just eat me up and, and disrespect is huge. You mm-hmm. know, like I'm not going to have someone's child telling me what they want to do or how they're going to do things, especially if they're in my house. And I'm just looking like, you know what? <laughs> in my house, I will curse a kid out quick, immediately. Well, that's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to put my hands on your child and I'm not going to I'm not going to yell at the them or disrespect them. Yeah. But what I will do is just give them a, a stern talking to and then I'll let their parent know as well. OK, so and that was my second question. Like, do you give unsolicited advice? Because sometimes I feel like parents are like, no, like, I don't want to hear I I try not to do that because I don't want to come off as if I'm so perfect and I'm right. being judgmental. So, um, but if a situation happens and I have to correct it and then I tell the parent, like, mm-hmm. this is what happened, this is what I corrected, then I would hope that the parent at that point would, would take matters into their hands and make sure it doesn't happen again. Right. See, that's one thing that I was going to bring up. You know, at the end of the day, the child is the child. You know, the parent raised the child. So they're going to be how the parent allows them to be. But it's it's really frustrating when the parent won't step up and correct the situation. Right. And they clearly see that their child's out of hand. That's frustrating. Will you pull that parent aside if you see that consistently? It depends on what it is, the magnitude of what, what's going on. If, if it's it something simple that— If it was enough to disturb that, you enough, would you pull that parent aside? I would have aside? to, yes, okay. of course. But if it's something minor, I can easily go in and talk to the, you know, the kid and correct them, you know, especially with our close friends— you know, I think that they trust me to, to handle it the Just right way. Just paint a picture for me right now. What's minor to you? Um, kind of like what Monique said earlier. Like, you know, maybe no to a, you. What's minor to you? I want to know. I mean, we pretty minor. much think the same way along with our kids. So, um, you know, they can take something from my child or talking back, being disrespectful. But um, you know, maybe um something, you know, far fetched as far as something very inappropriate you know, words or, you know, yeah. something like that, then I would definitely have to, you know, involve the parent. Got you. Got you. Yeah. I don't that, know. See, you true. handle those situations better than me. Me, I, I know I couldn't. I'm not mature enough to <laughs> hold out know and it. get the. I know it. Come on. I, I know me. I'm going to. I got to correct the kid right then and there. And I think whoever presence I'm in, especially the parent, they're going to know how I am before them kids even get around <laughs> Right. They're, right. they're going to pre-warn the kids before they get to me. <laughs> Look, we're going over Hank's house. Looks, this 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 man don't play. You know what I'm saying? You drop something, pick it up. You eat his food, don't eat his food. He's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you see a nine later on the table, you leave it alone. You know what I mean? So so yeah. I'm a, I'm a already assumed that these lines have already been set by the parent. So once the kid get there and they cross those lines, I'm immediately checking in yeah. a very respectful way. And I do believe in pep talks. I pep talk the mess out of my kids. You, what? No, I he can, just said he cursed the kid out earlier. Now he said he'll be he respectful. You cuss him out respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. So you would cuss There's him out respectfully. That means cuss out, if like, I'm going to curse the kid out respectfully, <laughs> that means I'm going to use only the curse words that they use on TV and in dictionaries. Ah, I got I'll you. Curse that makes sense. Okay, a PG yeah. curse. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Like, okay. Like, like the D word, the S word. Oh no. The no. A word. A donkey no is a what? A donkey is a what? No, we're not going to even be saying those words in front of. Kids. You would not That's say that. That's in the that. Bible, honey. It's in the Bible. I, I jackass is in the Bible. But my kid, okay, my kids so can't read the Bible sit your yet. Jackass <laughs> down. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh listen, Lord. Man. No, we ain't gonna use them. If, 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 hold up. <laughs> Shut the front door. Now I'm over like here that. wondering yeah. what, what Hank be saying to my kids. Stop now if they it. start cussing, I'm gonna be look. Well, we done had this discussion already. Yeah, Man, you it it's been time. five years. He only said one cuss word. So my track record speaks. And that was his first cuss word. Why do you keep bringing that up? Well, it's the fact. But you know what? There is an exception to this rule of, you know, loving your friend and not their kid. If we have an understanding that it takes a village to raise a child, because that's how I grew up. 
if if I was around some other kids and someone and one of those kids' parents and my parent was not there, my kid, I mean, my friend's parent knew that if I got out of line, if I got out of line, that they could correct me. And I already knew if I'm getting corrected by your mama, my mama going to come and handle it and it's not going to be good. <laughs> right. You know, so I have the same mindset where if... If your kids are going to be around me and I see your kid doing something that's not right, I should be able to let that child know if I see it, you know, like, hold up. That wasn't nice. You need to say sorry. And then obviously I'm going to tell the parent as well as well. And if they see my child doing something, they should be correcting my kid, too, because I don't want my kids thinking that they can just do whatever they want when I'm not around. So it's like they know that eyes are always on them, even when mommy and daddy's not around. So I just feel like that line has to be established. Don't bring your kids around me if I can't correct them. It needs I'm just to be a like mutual that. understanding. It has to be. Basically. It has to be. I mean, to I me, I, I feel like if it was, if my, if Sam had someone over and it was like a play date, the parent wasn't around, then I would feel totally comfortable with some discipline. But if the parent was there, and this has happened before, where someone is like hitting Sam nonstop and oh, they're not really no. stepping in. I just bite my tongue because I oh, hate confrontation. Heck. Isn't what? that horrible? Oh, I feel so like you're going to let Sam get oh, I'll just keep moving Sam. <laughs> Sim Sam this way for Sim Sam Sim Sam this way for a week or two. Oh my lord. Right. Like no, you know what's what? crazy though? I can totally understand where you're coming from because you know, um I was raised in Alabama and in my household you really couldn't express yourself. You know, you kind of had to bite your tongue and and deal with things inside knowing that your feelings was hurt. So, um, you know, once I met Monique, she kind of got me outside of that box. <laughs> I'm from Jersey. That's <laughs> right. She's from Jersey. She's mouthy. She's going to check you right on the spot. But the good thing about it, in our relationship, I kind of, you know, we kind of balanced each other out. Monique actually has toned that down some, and I've toned it up. So you need to find that place where you can actually step up at certain times and don't worry about hurting feelings because at the end of the day, your child's being mistreated. So you need to handle that. I, and and, you and know, you're actually right, like with how I was brought up. Like that's right. exactly to right. a T how I was brought up. We wow. don't talk about it. We don't express anything. Now, Matt, my husband, on the other hand, was brought up like how you were. So you guys are going to balance each well, other. Well, yeah. it's funny you say that now. Thinking about it, we were just at the park last weekend and somebody was picking on Sam saying, you can't even talk yet. And Matt <laughs> got right up in the kid's face and was like, oh, yes, he can. <laughs> 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 I feel like you can't do that. Like you can't. I mean, your husband shouldn't beat up the little right? kid, but that is I, get, I get no, it because I that would be that. Monique checking no, a kid, no, not me, in the kid's face like no. that. But Monique will handle the situation. No, let me tell you, I disagree with you, Chris, because I've been in this situation before oh, where someone kids, picks on your kid. Yes, right? and what I do? Well, I was trying to defend actually, that situation. No, but go ahead. well, this is what I do. <laughs> I keep let it me, real. Let me tell you Absolutely from Monique what Monique real. does, and this is what I do. I go to my son. And I'd be like, boy, you don't be letting nobody put their hands on you. You better hit them back. <laughs> and you better hit them harder. Not at school. We have taught our kid at school, for the record, uh, tell the teacher first. Yes. If the other child hits you again, that. that's what you do. punch them in the face. Well, hit them back in harder the, the way they hit good. you. Right. In the face is good. No, if you're going to hit, a hit is a hit. So well, body look, shot, face. I'll put it no, to you like this. If my child's being bullied and he tells the teacher and the teacher don't handle it and that child comes again, I'm teaching my son to clock him right in the nose. Well, well, do you teach him to defend himself? Defend himself. We yeah, actually clocking have... in the nose is part of defending yourself. Just, just defending you don't want to hit the general. <laughs> you do not want to hit the other child when other child can get the upper hand on you. You knock the child out right then and there and get that situation finalized. Chris, I love this just right here. This no, is serious. NFL, yes. fired this is NFL it. Chris coming out. I love out. it right now. I'm just keeping see, it real. My daughter can, too. I'm wait. sensing your intensity right so, now, Chris. I love it. <laughs> if y'all can see this man in this studio right now, I mean, he's sitting on a chair that's higher than ours and he's already 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> 300 about 30 pounds because he lost 30 and he is over here fired up like he about to whoop us well you know one, one thing is too I just left the gym and I took my, my pre-workout shakes so I'm a little amped up and then I'm thinking about my babies getting beat up at school and bullied we're not tolerating it hands we down we're like going to handle bullies. it All we right, don't let me like chill bullies out. we do have this thing that we taught our kids and, and it's funny because my daughter she's just so cute with it because she's only two and she's so little um, compared to my son anyway but no we have this this protocol so I say, you know, what happens if so-and-so hits you at school? First, I tell the teacher, okay? And if they hit you again, then I have the right to defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and then what do you do? I'll push them down. <laughs> <laughs> so my kids will come home and my, my daughter will, mommy, so-and-so pushed me in my stomach today. I'm like, what? 
Did you tell the teacher? Yes, I told the teacher. Well, did he leave you alone? No, mommy, he pushed me again. Well, what did you do after that? I defended myself. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. So they know the proper step. It's not just, I'm going to hit you right off the bat. That's so right. I will put that out there. But back in the day when my son was like, you know, when he was like two, he's bigger than these kids. And they coming over to him, and he's so nice, and he's, at the time, he ain't like this no more. But at the time, he was so shy and just so nice, and he just wanted to play. So if a kid came over and pushed him down, he's looking like, what the heck? I, th- yeah. I was just trying to play with you. And I, Christopher, you better get your butt up. Go hit him back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let nobody put their hands on you. You way bigger than these kids. You know, so I had to give him a pep talk. But, you know, I will tell the parent, if it's someone who I know, like, you need to get your child before I get him. Like, seriously. Yeah. Um, you heard that's say, cool. before I get them. Before yeah. I get them. <laughs> six, six. And I'm not going to push them back. I'm going to just pick them up and carry them to their mom gently. I know. <laughs> and say, look, your child keeps hitting my child. You need to handle this. You know, if it's someone who I know. I'm not going to just pick up some random stranger's child. And put them but in timeout. And <laughs> you look, they better handle it. They better handle it because I, I do not right. stand for bullying. I know that's right. Let's take a quick break. We need to talk about something that I'm so excited about. Beachbody On Demand is an easy-to-use streaming service that gives you instant access to a wide variety of super effective workouts you can do from the comfort of your living room 24-7. This is the company behind P90X, Insanity, 21 Day Fix, T25, Brazilian Butt Lift, Hip Hop Abs, and much more. Get motivated by celebrity super trainers you know, like Sean T, Shalene Johnson, Tony Horton, and Autumn Calabrese. My favorite program is P90X. I stand by it. I'm a living testimony of it. After I had my son, who was almost 10 pounds and almost two feet long, um, my abs really needed some extra attention. So P90X, the app ripper, oh my God, it was everything for me. It was everything I needed, and it really worked. You definitely have to try it. I've challenged my listeners to start a program with me. After I have this baby, I'm definitely going to get into the hip hop abs. So I can't wait. (laughs) I've had some friends who actually said that T25 is their favorite. Sean T doesn't require any extra equipment and it's only 25 minutes a day. I really want you to try this service because as a busy mom, especially busy parents, we all know how hard it is to squeeze in extra time for the gym. It may take you 25, 30 minutes just to drive to the gym. In that short amount of time, you can already be done your workout. When the kids are eating breakfast, go ahead and get to your workout and get it done. Right now, my listeners can get a special free trial membership when you text Monique, M-O-N-I-Q-U-E, to 30, 30, 30. You'll get full access to this entire platform for free. All the workouts, the nutrition information, and support, totally free. Just text Monique, M-O-N-I-Q-U-E, to 303030. Do it now. Don't waste any time. Let's go ahead and try to get back into these workouts. I know it's hard, but we can do it. You can do it from home. This is the easiest opportunity possible to get your body where you want it to be. All right. Thank you all. And let's get back to the show. No now, have you ever lost a friend because of this? <clears throat> Not yet. No, no. Not, <laughs> not to no. date, not to date. Right. No, because I, I think with our friends, um, we do have a good understanding. Our, our close friends, we do have a great understanding about us all parenting all of our kids. Mm-hmm. So we do take turns and we're pretty good at it. And to be honest, our kids get along with just about anybody unless right. they're just being so overbearing and the kid is like that wild. Um, you know, most of our friends' kids, they're they're pretty laid back for the most part. You know? Yeah, yeah, I, I'll agree with that. Most of our friends, they can correct my kids and we don't mind because we know and trust them that they're going to be respectful and handle it the right way. And hopefully they feel the same way about us. So we haven't had any major issues with our friends. Yeah. So I guess the next thing would really be, you know, um, if the kid is, you know, it's not that they're bad, but it could be the parents aren't really the best teachers. parenting very well. Exactly. And it's like, you know, what do you do in that case? It's like you don't want to keep schooling them or, or you know, giving them pep talks, you know, because right. then they feel bad about themselves or they feel like, oh, you're judging me and you you're not you're perfect better. either. Right. Mm-hmm. The whole mom shaming thing. Will right. Come into play. Exactly. <laughs> right. So it's like I never want to shame another mom because I know being a mom is not the easiest thing and you want the best for your child. And a lot of times the way we parent is a direct um, reflection of how we were raised. raised exactly. So you have to take all of that into account. But it's like, what do you do when the parent is just like terrible at it? Me personally, <laughs> I'll try to pull the parent aside. If that doesn't work, trying to give them some advice and they don't work. Look, man, I can erase both of them out of my life. I mean, like everybody has an expiration date. That's just me. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, look, we were best friends before the kid. The kid came. Stuff went downhill. I ain't feeling you nor the kid. All right, we need to go our separate ways. I mean, I can in, I can put another friend in my life. 
Now, with no kids, <laughs> <laughs> just works better that way. <laughs> I was raised in a very like strict household as well. So when it comes to me disciplining my son, I'm not good at it. I'm trying to get better at it. But I will say being on that end of it, one of my friends, he's like my family. I mean, he's disciplined my son before. He gives me pep talks. He's like, come on, you're what are you doing? Like, you are the mom. Like, that's right. you are the grown up. Stop. Yeah. And that's something I, I don't think I can do unless I'm really like close with the person. Right. Cause, yeah. Because it's like you you. You have to be. You have to have a great relationship to be able to 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 say those things. Mm-hmm. You know? I totally agree. Yeah. But for me personally, because it was such a strict household, where the reason why I have a hard time disciplining is because I don't want to be like how it was. You know what right, I mean? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but to not give any discipline is terrible, Can and I, I don't want to raise like a wild child. Yeah. Right. Do, do you think the longer you wait to get this firmness and this discipline and into your own child, it might be too late. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, I think okay. I'm, I, and that's the thing. That's why like having people right now tell me about up. it and call me out is helpful to me because I'm like, yeah. you're right. What am I doing? I don't need to be as extreme as, you know, my mom was. Right. There is yeah. a balance and that's no what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. And then kids will adapt. That's the great mm-hmm. thing about children. Um, it, it, it may take uh, a few weeks you know, just of being consistent, but they'll start to get it. Like, whoa, she's not having this she's anymore. Playing, <laughs> <you're playing laughs> you know, <laughs> like she really told me I can't have my snacks, and she really didn't give them to me. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and make some changes. They are like, oh my god, kids are so brilliant. They really are, and they know exactly what they're mm-hmm. doing. They really do. Yeah. No matter how much they kick and scream in the floor and whine, you can't give in. I know. It's no, hard. I'm I'm trying. I like have to leave the room now. So if I don't see it, it's just right. Because I I went through the stage of basically like, all right, I just want them to shut up. So here, yes. you know. But it was making them worse. Mm-hmm. So oh at the God. end of the day, now I'm to the point where I'm firm. You know, like listen. And now that I know that they're older and they can really get it, you know, they, they probably could have got it back then. They but did. They did. I, you know, right? but my patience at times, you know it. You know, it would wear thin, and I'm just like, all right, whatever. And I was raising it really strict, you know, household. My dad, Vietnam veteran, he didn't play. I mean, he would just beat you down, and that was the end of it, you know. <laughs> so I didn't want to be that parent to be so strict. I am in, right there with kid. you. Yes. Right. So now, I, you know, um, I found myself being much more lenient than probably what I should have been. Mm-hmm. But, you know, now I'm to the point now it's pretty much no tolerance for the whining, the crying. And that's you know, where it came from. And right. it used to irritate me so bad. Yeah, I so knew she was so, going to say all this. It's but so nice to hear <laughs> you say that. Mom. I'm not perfect by any yes, means. Is. But let me tell you, I Christopher. Think my is very I knew you would. Christopher uh, was she's perfect. Thank she you. But I'm not. Hang out with I'm us, not. So, of course. <laughs> but, but, oh, Lord. <laughs> Here we go. I'll take a uh, shot. Yeah. What'd you say, Chris? Nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. Why did you hear? Did you? No. What did you say? All right. Well, of yeah, course I didn't say arguing. anything. Right, no. No. Ahead, no if you had something, no, to say, she had a good point. <laughs> I don't have anything. We to need say. to separate these two. <laughs> um, too much testosterone on that end. <laughs> but no. Um, I remember there was a time where Christopher, um, like my friends would compliment me because he would ask for something and I, I would just look at. He was like a year old and I'd be like, No, you can't have that. And he, he was just like, Oh, okay. He didn't fuss. He didn't whine. He didn't holler. He just was like, oh, okay. She said no. Um, and one day, one of my friends, I never even realized it. One of my friends was like, wow, that was very impressive. How did you get him to do that? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And um, she said, you just told him no. And there was like no reaction. He was okay with it. Yeah. And I was like, right. because he knows that he'll get something eventually, but not right now. So he, it's it's a part of our pattern. He doesn't get everything he wants. And, and she was so blown away. Well... Chris at the time was coaching in Alabama, so we rarely saw him. So I will give him that. He wanted to give Christopher and make him happy. You know, he gave him whatever he wanted. He wanted to make him happy because he didn't really get to see him much. So um, once we left Alabama, um, Chris just started, like, giving him whatever. And sometimes Christopher would be like, you know, Daddy, can I have this? And Chris would be like, no, no. Why? And he started whining, but he knew that if he whined, he knew that Chris didn't want to hear it and he, he would caved. eventually give it to him. Yep. And he <laughs> caved every single time. And it would drive me crazy because I was like, yo, he wasn't no whiner like a year ago. Like he didn't used to do this. Like you, you, you like ruining my baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew I was crazy. So too much wine and I could snap. So I had to go ahead and now I'm just. Oh, kidding. my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, since when? <laughs> no, at the end of the day, it was, you know, I wanted to make my kids happy and. 
you know, um, I would try to put my foot down and then the whining, the whining. I was just like, all right, His I patience. can't take it anymore. My patience is, it, man, I'm old, you know. <laughs> oh, man. You're so, not. I am old. old. But anyway, um, I would go ahead and break. But now, oh, I'm firm. Yeah, it only took I don't four play years. Now. The more and more I listen, <laughs> the more and more I will not be having kids. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm just going to not have this issue. This is an issue, but go ahead. Oh, you're just, you're just going to be a rammer yeah, and I'm, I'm protect a, yourself the, and not a, have a baby. A rammer of the randoms. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. But we ain't getting back on that. Back to the kids. Just don't go having no random child. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Crisis averted. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I just feel like there should be some type of solution, um, you know, to when your kids are around other kids who, you know, they're not raised like them. And I don't want my kids to think that they're going to do what they see other people doing. Mm -hmm. So one thing I will tell them, because I do believe they're intelligent enough to absorb it. Um, I'll tell them all the time, you know, you do what I said. So it's like, you know, some kids, they might be a little older and they, you know, well, we're going into this room or we're going outside. And my son will look at me, mommy, can I go? No. But mommy, I don't care. You're going to do what I told you to do. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's powerful because it's also teaching them to be a leader. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to follow behind what you see other kids doing. Right. And it's not about what they're doing. I don't care if their parents said they can do it. If I say no. Oh, shoot. My bad, y'all. Thought it was on vibrate. <laughs> um, but I'll tell them, you know, I don't care what they're doing. If I tell you to do, you have to listen to me. I'm mom. I don't I'm not their mom. <laughs> you know, if right. they if they want to do that mm -hmm. and their parents cool with it, that's on them. You're my responsibility. And if I say no, it's no. And for the most part, they will listen. They might not like it, but I'm I'm teaching my kids to be confident in who they are. Be respectful to what your parents are saying. And you don't have to follow behind what everybody else does. Point mm -hmm. blank, period. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So um, another thing that um, I also do is if I do see them come home and they think that they're going to do what one of their friends did that I thought was obnoxious or just got on my nerves. As soon as I see my child trying to mimic it, oh, I, I'm on it. I'm immediately. I'm just like, what? Shut what, it what are down. You, mm -mm, <laughs> we are not having it. Stop it before it starts. Yes, Absolutely. yes. I'm going to check that as soon as I see it and let them know. Like, nope, that is not going down here. I don't care what you see other people doing. You are not doing that in my house. Absolutely. And most times it works. And if I see it again, I'll have to, you know, check it again. So, so basically you get into your own child and coaching them up or teaching them can stop a whole lot of things that happen outside your household. Definitely. So definitely. basically parenting starts in the house, start there, be strong and firm with it. And then you won't have as much problems outside of the household. True. True. And I mean, it, it just, you know, if, if they are around kids that are just totally opposite <clears throat> of your beliefs, <laughs> then you might have to shut that down. Put some you know, distance mm -hmm. in between. Yeah. 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 Because at the end of the day, that's just even more work. So it's what like a, happens if you have that friend that's real persistent about being around you, though? I mean, I'm you busy. don't have to give in. Girls night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, what's right. have to give in. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Leave yeah. the kids. Hang out with exactly. the kids. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. Heck yeah. yeah. Oh, can I come over with my kids? No. no. Put no. your kid to bed. Come I just over. got my house clean. Yeah, let's have yeah. like a, you know, <laughs> okay, so what double date night without yeah. the kids. Now, yeah. look, I yeah. love confrontation. Which is nice. I love confrontation. So what happens when that friend says, is there a problem with my child? What do you say? Are you going to be honest? I don't think they'll ever come out and say, is there a problem with my child? What parent is it a will problem? admit that? Is it a problem? <laughs> no, because. It, it would have to be a situation, I think, to make them actually say that, you know? Yeah. Can I bring my kid over? No. Can I bring my kid over? No. All right. This is the fifth time she said it. Is there a problem with my child coming over here? What do you say? I'm going to say, yeah. Oh, so, okay. I just wanted to <laughs> know just, if, look, if. If somebody comes right out and says, you yeah. know, are you avoiding me because exactly. That's of was, yeah. my kid or like is something going on? I'm going to just be like, look, last time your baby's been around my babies, <laughs> they started <laughs> doing some scary. of the things that your kid does that I do not like. Yeah. And at this point in time, they're just like kids are, they're sponges. At this age, they are literally trying and doing what they see. Mm -hmm. And I have enough headaches. I don't need your headaches to become mine either. So we just going to have to like work this out some type of way, you know, and hopefully your friendship older. is strong enough yeah. because that mm -hmm. can offend the, your friend That's the and you can fall out. I can easily see that. happen. Right. And, and I mean, that friend can look at me and say, look, I don't like the way your child eats all neat. And doesn't get any food on the floor. Like, I don't, it you know. did bother me that no, seriously, no. I'm just but when I, I went over to your house, really about to say Matt, and, uh, Matt, she is. no, you know what I'm talking about, about right? Yeah. Ronnie was like eating her pizza like this little perfect angel. It was so cute, taking the smallest <laughs> bites. She left the crust so neatly on the table and goes, "I'm done." And you look over at Sam, and he's like this rabbit animal, like, <laughs> double 
misting like everywhere. <laughs> and Lani rolled up her sleeve and then rolled it back down, blotted her mouth with a little napkin. <laughs> My kids will go crazy if there's food on their hands or on their face. Like they legit go crazy. And I think it's because when I feed them as a baby, I, I always have like a little washcloth. <laughs> so as I'm feeding them, I literally will like, you know how you take the spoon and you put it in their mouth to eat and then it gets on the side. So you take the <laughs> you spoon and scrape the side. Yeah, I immediately scrape the sides of their mouth and then I wipe it off and then I give them the next bite. So that's my fault <laughs> because I'm super like, you know. I am so the opposite. The like really? <laughs> I give Sam a bowl of like meat sauce and spaghetti. I'm like, you do you and he'll get it like in his hair I'm like but that's like more because, work for you in the end though I know but I feel like it was because of how I was raised I just want my kid to like enjoy, enjoy life. it and yeah. have Ollie, fun. I have just be true. messy and nasty Ali I have a question for you I have a question oh no I'm scared I have a question so being as though you allow your, your child to run go wild with this food would it happen if a friend sent their child over to your house mm-hmm. are you allowing their child to go crazy too or are you at least going to at least put a spoon in the hand? Are you, are you, <laughs> I give, are, I give are, him, are a, gonna... I give him a fork. Don't get me wrong. He chooses to use his hands. I'm like, oh, so if fine. the French <laughs> child starts picking up food with the hands, are you going to stop them? I see. I'm okay with it. It's my husband who's not. He oh, okay. is very much like, no, like you have to sit in the high chair. There has to be like a tarp under you. Like, and I'm like, come on, okay, let them just be kids if oh, i gosh. did have kids i don't know ali <laughs> i don't know no, but you Look, know, i'm saying this but who knows know. if it actually happened <laughs> okay. no you know there, i mean there's there's always you know there's always those moments where you know if i if i trust my friend enough to leave my child with her yeah and her kids absolutely um because i have a friend when we were in alabama you remember jessica yeah the crystal absolutely. balls yeah, yeah, yeah. love her love her and her boys and whenever like there would be times where she would just be like just bring christopher over and leave him i'm not one of those moms but that's how close we were and I knew that her boys were really good with my son. So, um, and, and she would give them certain snacks that I didn't give Christopher. But because I knew that I was entrusting her with my son, I can't put mm-hmm. on to her what I do, right. you know, at my own home. I'm bringing my son to her home. So I would just, you know, he would he would enjoy himself for that day and have whatever, you know, her two sons were having. And I was fine with that. So, you know, he got a break from the life <laughs> that yeah. I'm always the like adamant about. <laughs> the, the neatness. You know, it, no, but it's, it's interesting. And I like that um, Ali actually said that because I never even thought about it in that way where it's like, you know, just letting the kid be a kid and enjoy. Because when our kids were very young, we were taking them to like, you know, like five star restaurants. And, you know, so they would sit in a high chair and they if you were ever to go out to dinner with us <laughs> with the kids, they literally will sit down. They'll grab their table napkin. They'll put it in their lap, Literally so <laughs> and they'll mean. they'll Very move mean. their forks to the side, and they'll you know they'll play with their forks and do little kid stuff, which I will let them as long as they're not getting too loud. But I mean, they'll can I have some water, please? They'll take their big behind water cup, not a kid cup. They'll take the water and they'll you know drink it and put it back down. Like they're for, seriously, and they're and they're for the most part they're really quiet unless they're tired. But they really, I mean, when they go to a nice restaurant, they. They they like they know how to act. So and I, and now it makes me feel like, dang, am I putting too much on them? No, you're, you're doing, doing. This is why. Something. No, this is why I'm sending Sam to the Samuels for. A week. I'm telling you that right now. He'll come back holding my hand. He'll come back using a napkin on his lap and not dipping it in water to like make a mess. I'm sending him over. Get ready. Get ready. And, and, and don't oh, get it God. twisted. Every now and then, my kids try silly things at the table. Yes. Of like maybe grabbing bread and dipping it in the water cup. You just correct it and put your foot down right away. Yeah. Funny. And then and that I, way they understand understand that you know mommy and daddy's not tolerating that and they get it you know so now we really don't have to you know deal with that as much so with you you kind of just letting them do whatever yeah i mean look when it comes to hitting and biting like he knows he can right right do that stuff yeah when it comes to this but you're right it is a problem because sometimes we go out and he's like wait i can't make a mess here like you let me do (laughs) at our house you know what i'm thinking about as you say that how your kid eats and i'm not being funny don't get offended by no means well i am kind of being funny (laughs) But it reminds me, what is the name of that movie? It comes on like Christmas, all into the Christmas story. It's Buddy the Owl. Is it Owl? No, he he was like, look, mommy, this is how the piggies eat. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Isn't that the Christmas story? I think so. Uh, where the dad had the lamp with the sexy oh, lamp. That's and, the yes, story. Yes, and the little yes, boy, look, mommy, it. this is how the piggies eat. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I watch that movie, I laugh. So is that how you let your baby eat? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But no, but you actually brought up a really seriously. <laughs> Ali, you do oh, not I have to agree with this. this. I'm not gonna lie. Oh and I think it's so cute. Lie, Ali, lie. <laughs> lie. <laughs> lie. <laughs> and I feel bad because I'm like, I'm 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 that mom that'd be looking like like uh. <laughs> you gotta clean all of that up afterward. What it's are you doing? It's more work like, in the end. Trust I know. Me. I, well, oh that's gosh. why I just put him in the shower after. Like, so you already knows. plan. He has to get a shower anyway. Oh, let him wild out. Yeah. Have a good time. He, yeah. After dinner, he goes take my you. shirt off. He like knows the deal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, speaking covered. of taking shirts off, if my kids get any speck of water on their shirt, it could pants, be water. They will run drop. upstairs, get their pajamas, and change them. I got water. Yeah, really? yeah, my they son knows play. how to change his stuff And then I get a little frustrated with that sometimes. I'm like, all right, man. Like, we're guys. Like, don't worry about it. It's just a little bit of water, man. You'll daddy, be fine. But, Daddy, it's wet. <laughs> I and have to take has this to change off. It. Yes. And he will not hear it. My daughter was eating um, a popsicle with me yesterday, and she got it onto her shirt, and she freaked out. And I'm on. A, I'm sitting down <laughs> braiding her hair, so I'm not about to go take her upstairs and change her right. shirt and go through all of that. I was like, Milani, you will live. <laughs> you will live. I said, it's okay. I will get the stain out when I wash your clothes. But it's red and my shirt's white with blue. I said, you look like a flag. It's okay. <laughs> so the, the, there's consequences to raising your kids yes. the way we raise ours. Oh yeah. my God, so, they're so particular. And, you know, it's, I guess it's consequences the way you raise your kid because it's more work. Yes. But our kids freak out about the smallest little speck of anything on their clothes. Yeah. So, so it's, funny. If you saw Sam's wardrobe, like literally everything has a stain on it. And I'm just like, whatever. Girl, get you some OxyClean. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be spraying them little stains and they come right. Right out. Oh, my like, goodness. Whatever. It's oh, my goodness. No, but it's bad because even when I take them to school, their teachers, they their teachers know. They, like, sometimes, um, you know how you have to bring the extra clothes. So if Milani gets something on her clothes, she must even tell her teachers, like, I have to change this shirt because I'll drop her off. And then when I come back to pick her up, I'm like, wait, what? She had an accident or, like, what happened? Oh, no, she spilled some pizza sauce on her shirt and I'll look at the shirt and it's literally like a little <laughs> tiny speck and she is not having it so they're they are very particular <laughs> I'll say but it's it's you know it, it's interesting I just hope that they are enjoying you know being a child I hope I'm not putting too much no on <laughs> I, and I really don't think you are and I just keep telling myself that you know, hopefully when Sam is 16, he's not eating meat sauce with his hands and rubbing it in his hair. No, he'll, like. have, he'll have it by then, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. But, we but I do wish. remember when we first went to college and it was 13 guys. We got our scholarship. And this one particular guy, I'm not going to say his name. Yes, I am. Shamar Buchanan. <laughs> and I remember. Put him he out had, there. I'm putting him out there. And he was, you know, he played wide receiver at the University of Alabama with us. But we're, we're rookies. We're freshmen. We come in and we're eating lunch for the first time. And he has pizza. <laughs> He has a hamburger with all of this ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise on it, and he's eating it, and it's all over his hands, Ugh. all over his face, and I'm just disgusted. I'm just like, <laughs> how can a grown-up eat like this? I mean, it's terrible. So at some point, you got to correct this You're before right. he goes to college. <laughs> you got to handle college. it. You got to handle it, please. He's going to your house. I'm telling you. I'm not joking. Okay, this is serious. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No. So, so yeah, but I mean, on that note, I wouldn't stop being friends with a with a friend and her kid if they eat bad. Like, <laughs> good to know because that would be awkward. <laughs> oh my god, no, 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 no. It's more about the whole respect level and just knowing that, like, all right, you know, if you see my kid doing something out of the line, mm-hmm. please check them. If if I see your kid, I will check them, and I won't do it in an aggressive, vicious way. It'll be very loving, the same way I correct my own kids. So, I just, you know, I just feel like that makes. Things a lot easier. Right. I think the biggest thing, like you're saying, is, you know, the respect level. The kid needs to understand that we're the adult. You need to respect it. Now, I do believe that kids can voice themselves and express in a, you know, in a respectful way. But putting yourself on a, the level of the adult, that's totally out of line. And I think all parents should check that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what happens after your friend checks your kid and comes back and tells you something that they did? And it sounds out of the ordinary. It's like, do you believe the, the, what, the, what the parent is saying or do no. you believe your kid? Like, what do you do in that sense? I you think know? You, you question your kid and give him a chance to 
to, um, you know, basically express themselves. And like Monique is really good about like, all right, tell me what happened. And the other person or the other kids trying to say, no, I want my child to tell me what happened. Right. Um, right. I was actually told by where my son goes to daycare. They were like, oh, he scratched um, one of the one of the girls today. And I like profusely apologized to the mom. I'm like, I'm so sorry. She was like, is is my kid alive? Is my kid okay? Like, it's not <laughs> right, a big right, deal. Right. Like, it's really okay. So I feel like I felt so guilty. I immediately knew that he did it. Like, I wasn't denying it. I, right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But kids are going to do certain things. Parents have to. Yeah. If you're a mature parent, you understand that, you know? Yeah. But, you know, sometimes your child will do things that if you didn't see it with your own eyes, oh, my goodness, you would be like, I know they, they must be lying. So one day, Chris and I went to go pick Christopher up from school, and we got there a little early. So we were sitting in the car watching oh, him play outside. And if I hadn't seen this with my own eyes, oh, my God, because I always tell my son, you do not put your hands on girls. That is what you will not do. And he's so big. My son is five years old. He is four feet, two inches tall. <laughs> And he weighs close to 70 pounds. And he's, he's strong, solid. Too. Really And he's strong. strong. Like, if I'm if I'm kneeling down and he comes and blindsides me and, like, even if he's trying to hug me but he does it aggressively, I'll fall over. Like, he's very powerful. Um, so he's outside playing with his friends. And I know this particular girl does give him issues. But I don't care. You don't put your hands on girls. We're sitting in the car watching him play. He's running around. He pushes this little girl down like a linebacker. And then proceeds to walk away with this look on his face like he did nothing. I looked at Chris, get him. <laughs> before, before she can really say get him, I was halfway out of the car. Yes, it's like we I mean, both he, he were He manhandled shocked. this little girl to the ground. I was so upset. Oh, God. You talk about embarrassed yes. and upset. And I don't. the teacher didn't even see it. She didn't even see it. The little girl went back crying, but she did not see the act. We saw it. And um, I mean, oh, I was, oh, I was furious. No iPad for a week. His um, eyes looked like silver dollars. When, like, when Chris oh my when God. He saw you. Oh, I said, you yes. never know when I'm looking and I'm Ooh. watching you. I said, sometimes mm-hmm. you're in the classroom. I'm looking through the window. I don't even think they have windows to their classroom. I'm not sure. <laughs> but he was so surprised. And I said, you are going to get it when you get home. And he was just like, he, he couldn't believe that I caught him. And I was like, you do not put your hands on girls. You pushed that little girl down. That was not cool, this and that. But we talked about it when we got home. We corrected it, and he hasn't had any more issues since. Oh, yeah. We took away that iPad. Oh, yeah. He did. Yeah. We took (laughs) that iPad. He took that iPad. Oh, my Lord. Actually, I think we took it away for like two weeks. Yeah. I didn't let him use it. That killed him. He's like, Mommy, but I had a good day today. I said, I don't care. I said, you remember what you did to that little girl? I said, no, you're not using it. And I did not, me and Chris both, we did not let him touch that iPad. And he had several other privileges revoked. And we stuck to it. And he hasn't had any issues since. But I could not believe that he pushed that little girl down like that. He was already upset, though. You you dropped that part. He was a little bit upset because he couldn't be the tag guy in the tag game that they were playing. So right. he was fussing a little bit, standing by himself. So the little girl came over. And I don't know if she was picking with him more or she was just trying to talk to him. But all I saw was this big, massive hand shoved that little girl down, and I Two was days. out of that car. I mean, it was ridiculous. Yeah. It remind me of Chris when he was playing for the Redskins. Like, <laughs> this little boy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But, yeah, so you have those moments where I'm like, I'm sure her her parents were probably like, oh, oh my we God. ain't ever having play dates with them. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine but, if, you know, that that girl's dad was there. That's going to be a major issue because oh, yeah. it would be a major issue if that was my daughter getting pushed down by some kid, you know, a little oh, boy or whatever. Yes. You know, boy or girl pushing my daughter down or my son down, you know, that's not a good deal. But, you know, definitely, um, you know, we don't we don't play that. You know, I corrected it right away. Hasn't had any more issues as far as along those lines. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> it's like we're running a little wrestling match at home or something. But he, but y'all do. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like we do. yeah, they the men, they enjoy wrestling mm-hmm. and doing all of that and my son knows me. It's almost like he literally will come full speed at me and I will turn around and give him that look like you have better not. You have lost your mind. He knows not to play fight with me. Right. And if he ever tries, I'm like, boy, Look, before he can even get to me, he's on the floor. <laughs> I'm like, clips. Like. Yeah, she, 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 don't, she don't play with him. I it's would. crazy because he, he used to be such a crybaby when he was younger. And I was just, oh, my God, like, stop crying. And 
you hurt my I feelings and this why. and that. And then because of you. <laughs> so, no, Chris um, made him a whiner. No, no, no. So well, I've <laughs> he made did him only a whiner. I've, you, I've made him a wild man now because yeah. I roughed him up and he is totally out of control. <laughs> I mean, he gets on my now nerves. He All me. he wants to do is fight now. And I like fighting, but when I want to fight, but he wants to fight all the time. <laughs> yeah. Tired. Oh yeah. my God. I'm no. just trying to watch TV, like, or text message or something, and he will not stop. Oh my God. I mean, he's out of control now, but I kind of like that. Too. Now, let me tell you something about, about Christopher. Like, my kids, yeah, they may do a lot of things very proper, but Hank has made sure that my kids have plenty of swag. So. <laughs> They got this thing where they're like, you know, Hank, yeah, they, they got their little handshake. And then I guess Hank told Christopher that he's a G. So Christopher is like, you know, Hank's a G. He's a G. And I'm like, do you even know what G means? Yeah, mommy, it means gangster. What? <laughs> what? Like, why do you know this? We don't so, play the gangster thing either, uh, buddy. Oh, my goodness. So one day. Christopher, I'm, me, Hank, and Christopher and Milani, we're all in the living room minding our own business, watching TV. Christopher gets up, takes his shirt off, proceeds to flex his muscle and looks at Hank. Hank, you want to fight? You want to fight? You ain't a real G. <laughs> 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 I was like, wait. What he is really going did, on though. Here? He was flexing on me, man. He was flexing on me. <laughs> so, what's going to happen when our friend's kids come over and <laughs> our kid is flexing, talking about you ain't a real G? And now we got issues, Listen. and their parents are going to have to talk to us because our kid thinks he's a gangster. You got to watch who you have around your kids, man. I know, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had, to, we had to take a, a Hank break. <laughs> yeah, our, kid, our kids know everything. Every darn song that comes on the radio. Yes. I'm like looking at what was the song that came on, Chris, that they love singing? All the way Cut up. It. All no, the way up. I'm talking Cut about it. on the radio because we didn't even know that they knew the song. It was some song that came on, and both him and Milani were in the back seat just bopping and singing the song. What was the song? Because you were just you was were singing it. I it was it. probably Chris that taught him. No. Oh, my me. goodness. I'm like, how me. in the world do they know this music? You know, See, Hank, I, I don't engage in stuff like this. Like, I would never walk past a kid and nudge him and then he start doing oh, it. Oh, please. I would never do things please. like this. This stuff is... Yeah, you do have to watch you have around your kids. Yeah, Hank, Hank will just like walk by it. and hit you for no reason. <laughs> so, Are you serious? No. Yeah, no, no. This became, at the a, end of, at this the end became of, a real issue. Go, at the end of the day, he would do things to me. I mean, I'm not because trying to say I'm stupid. Started I'm not it. trying to say I'm stupid to his level, but at the end of the day, if I catch him and he ain't looking and I can <laughs> steal one off, and if, I'm and, get my, and if that's my child I'm and he's still my child, now. then I technically hey, could I'm, steal him, right? Yeah. That's, that's just Most petty, definitely. Chris. Like, you're way bigger than me. No, you're petty. <laughs> you're no, way, you're than way than bigger than me. Let me tell you about how... Um, I'm get mine. Hey, this is this is around the time we were done filming, so we always take a break from having company. Um, so, like, for, you know, like a, a couple weeks had went by, and Chris and I go for a teacher's conference for Christopher. And the teacher said, um, you know... Christopher's a really good child. He does really good in school, but oh. he just has this weird tendency to walk by his classmates <laughs> while they're doing their work, and he'll just hit them for no reason. Yes. He'll just hit them. Learn behavior from And I was like, immediately, I was like, Hank, oh. Hank, yep. Hank, Hank. So it took us, so we had to go home and like really give Christopher a good talking to, and we had to just kind of detox Hank out of his system for like a month. You know, and then he didn't have any he issues didn't have anymore. Any issues. A lot of these Wait, things. Wait, did they tell you that you were? Oh, no. yeah, we told them. Of hey, course. Ali, we told Ali, them. Ali, you were being listen. cut off for a little bit, like I, you couldn't come around? No, <laughs> they, they do it very subtly and vaguely. It, it'd be like. We just stop answering the phone. Exactly. <laughs> oh. No, what? You were hold on, time out, Chris. Hold on, Chris. One thing that Hank has to Chris, appreciate Chris, about Moni, Moni doesn't beat around the bush. No, no, no. Hank, it's time for you to go. We need a break. All right, no, no, no. Now things are starting to come into, you know, I'm starting to realize. So let's recall this date of April fifth. He has the date. I absolutely. I Wait. text. I text your wife and I said, "What's going on? You're not that busy." I didn't receive a a, a smoke signal, a call, a text message, An emoji. For a whole three, four. She didn't even like my post on Instagram for three weeks. <laughs> so this is what it is. So y'all subtly no, cut me off. No, no it's no. okay. Thank you. No, no. You. you know, if I had an issue with you, he really thought I was mad. Oh, at we him. can work these issues out. At Absolutely. Home. Absolutely. Get back to the kids. <laughs> well, uh, we're, we're still talking. It's like, no, oh, she's no. about to play you. She what, was you about to, what was you about to say? What I was, said, let's get back to the kids. And, I did not say and she's anything. Like, but, but we still, and then she was like, 
Oh, I ain't say oh, I ain't say nothing. Thank you. Chris. That would have been a great uh, joke. Uh, uh, well, we're not going to do great jokes at the expense of me. <laughs> you know, last show I was the great joke. I'm not the joke again. We're not doing this oh anyway. Exactly. Well, what tips do y'all have for people <laughs> out here <laughs> who have to deal with bad kids and bad Hanks? <laughs> <laughs> How can you look at me in my face and still laugh? Like after you said that. Because you know I love you. No, that doesn't take care of what you just did. But it was funny. Because I love you. All right, well, I'll be pushing Christopher because I love him. You know what? I when never did leaving? that. I never. <laughs> do you see what people do? Don't they, look at me. I'm not getting involved. No, in this. Ali, no, this is where you. We got to take a stance. We? <laughs> yes, we. Don't we are together. To uh, see what I'm she saying? She's trying to figure out how she's going to make her baby eat me. <laughs> The whole time she's been looking puzzled ever since, like twenty minutes ago. Chris, 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 I'm playing. Can out. you please, Chris? You're I wanted, not wrong. I wanted, Chris. I wanted to ask you this, what? just one last time. Mm-hmm. Can you do what the kid did off the movie, please? Just look, do it. mommy. This is how the little piggies eat. <laughs> if y'all can see, oh, oh, stuck, oh, the little boy just stuck his face into the plate and just was like. <laughs> can, have you seen Ali's kid? Have yeah, we've seen it. You, yeah, you know Easter. what I, I have? The Easter egg hunt we had. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. No, he I, is so I've cute. seen he's Ali's so kid on he Instagram. And he does not look like he, he eats did. like that. No. I can't wait to show you a picture. I'll, I'll look through pictures and show you. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. If he's I have so a cute. joke from the picture, is it okay? Of course. No, oh, okay, we're not cool. going to joke. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. You I wouldn't like a I would, funny I joke, not like a mean that. joke, right? No, no, do I look like I have mean that. jokes? I would never have a mean Y'all joke. Y'all are a mess. Uh, oh, my God. Your hey, husband's hey, going to be like, you're hey, not doing the, the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They're disrespecting little... Uh, this is just not going to happen. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Oh, my God. Cut off all your black friends. That's it. Oh, my God. He just outed you, Allie. Nobody knew you were white. Stop it. We can hear it in our voice. Stop it. Stop it. We know you <laughs> Soon as she said, oh, she has, Lord. she does not, you know, never mind. I'm not going there. Anyway. Oh, don't go there. Right. No, 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 no. Because you said. I don't know what he was going to say. No. Anyway. <laughs> Just go ahead now. Just keep it real. You know what? No. We're anyway. about to put it's you in time out. I know, but I'm real. so curious. You know I'm so, joking. I have course. Mm. <laughs> no. Ali, we love you. It's like, <laughs> hey, isn't that how to make things better? Moni, you did it. Love. That's you did what it. Our, our country she did it with you. I do. I mean, you got to come that. up with your own thing. Like, come on. Come up with your own thing. Be that is, wait a minute. That's universal. No, that's Monique. A guy do something <laughs> wrong to his lady friend. Maybe I love you and she gets over it. Or it's it's universal. <laughs> Everyone says, yeah. It ain't that easy for me. <laughs> oh, don't take, see, don't make it personal. See, no, I didn't no, say that No, I'm just saying, say, like, we get into it, I do something to hurt oh, Monique's God. feelings. I can't just say, baby, I love you. Oh, hunky dory. You got to do it with a kiss. Something. No, nah, he got to come with more than that. I'll come with that mushy gushy. <laughs> Oh, well, you don't have Hold on, you got gushy? the wussy gushy curse now. Uh, I'll come with. All right, let's that, get that Lance to, Armstrong. Get back to he the, gonna lay no, that country that, hammer. That, 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 <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> that, that Bama hammer. That thunder from down under. <laughs> that roll tide. We are talking. <laughs> How do we go from this? We talking about the kids. We always and, wind up talking always. about y'all and y'all chemistry oh is what it is. No, you started it. I, you I, over here I, like you always, always do. Drama. He's trying to come between me and my husband. I would never come and between. Tension. I would he never don't come care between about all of those multiple randoms that he messaged. Why do we have to? Put me so he has my... no emotional connection with them. So he doesn't really care. L- listen, man, this has nothing to do with me. I want to keep talking about the kids. I'm getting Three, information. Three, two, one. So, yeah, my tip of the day <laughs> <laughs> is to maintain open communication with your friends. Um, but some people don't handle confrontation well. So in that case, maybe just don't put yourself in a situation or just try to plan out time to spend with your friends without the kids until they mature a little bit. And then, um, you know, just do like couples nights or or girls night out or, you know, leave the kids at home, get a sitter and, uh, you know, just figure out different ways to make it work where you're not going to offend anybody or make yourself seem like you're super perfect and perfect, you know. So any other solutions or tips? Stay a bachelor like me and don't get down with people that have kids. I mean, it's, it's real simple. It's enough people in the world to go around. So you lose one best friend, you know, gain three of them. So whatever. No. Yeah. Anyway. So I guess that was for the single folks listening. Abs- absolutely. Like, seriously. <laughs> why deal with someone that has kids if you don't have to? Thanks, Hank. All right. <laughs> All right. Anything, Allie? 
I, I think you said it. I mean, honestly, I think you said it perfectly. That open communication and also like having couples nights and girls nights. I mean, that's good for your mental health anyway. So yes. just use that as your excuse instead of I don't like your kid. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are so perfect. How about with you, these answers. Oh, my God. Just get a baby a bottle with some alcohol in it and uh, what? the baby will fall asleep and everything will be good. Even Hank wouldn't say that. <laughs> Everybody nothing knows I'm joking. That's nothing on. to do with the topic let's at take all. A, let's take a vote. No, that the was little terrible. kid's out of hand. That was He's terrible. causing a ruckus in your house. You slip something in the bottle. You slip something in the juice. Chris, and the baby will go to sleep. This is horrible, Chris. You don't have to worry about all of that. Chris, this is horrible. Everybody knows you're, I'm You're joking. failing right now. No, you're y'all, failing. Y'all, y'all, it's horrible. You're supposed he, to give a tip wanna, for He's just trying if, to get a little get back. No, this, always, what you just you know. said was terrible, Chris. You're supposed to give a tip for if you like your friends but not their kids. Exactly. Not how to knock your kid out. <laughs> no, you get the baby. All right, y'all don't get it. But whatever. No, I'm just joking about that. You you guys pretty much said that. That was the Alabama joke. It was terrible. It's totally over our horrible. head, and it yeah. flew all the way back to Alabama. Exactly. <laughs> uh, in Alabama, we put moonshine in there. So. Oh, oh God. Oh, no wonder you God. talking like this. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm kidding. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Love thy like, neighbor <laughs> and thy child. Yo, I think he knows that was real corny. Like, I see it all over your face. Hank, Hank just made that a, was terrible. Made a couple episodes don't switch ago. This, when he don't was so switch terrible, the and we would not let him no, off the hook of no. being terrible. Look at you. You keep going into so it. So now he's just like, and he was like, oh, I'm sweating. Uh. So he just want a little get back. Get your deflection back. game is That's good. Fine. Your deflection I mean, game is fine. It deflecting. wasn't the best joke. You're deflecting. Um, it was a joke. You're deflecting. So it own is it. what it is. Uh-uh. Yeah, that was I mean, I can own it. It's fine. It was kind of cool. You sound like, I can own it. She thinks it's corny. You think it's corny. And I thought it was terrible. Allie's on my side. <laughs> no, You're on can his we take side. A vote? Can Actually, take a vote? I, thank you. Let's take I a vote. I did understand uh, the that, joke. that joke. I'm not going to lie. Terrible. I'm kidding. I, 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 I sure. Oh, thank you. All right. See, that's how you know Ali is white. She disagrees with us. <laughs> oh my God! We're not going to make this a race issue. Why are you going to turn like, this into no, race? I'm not no. going to make this a race issue. No, t- because <laughs> one race joke no. that was really and funny and good, and everybody. I'm about to tell you. Really no, because she oh said that nobody know. I said, well, that's how you know now because she just. No, went no, no. <laughs> she let's had, take a vote she on has this a guy. mind. No, and she decided that the joke was corny. Just well, like you, you know did. what? An episode ago, Ali had jokes on me, so she opened the door. I so knew you were. Absolutely. I felt some kind of way about it. Well, you keep messing up. I'm gonna keep throwing it in your face. I knew this it. This is a get back. So he sure felt is. a little cyber way the other uh-huh. day. Mm-hmm. He felt ganged up mm-hmm. on you. Mm-hmm. Right. So now he's going, going, Moni, you he going. Now he's over here pointing out race. Mo- Moni, to get you next. Back. I would never do that. <laughs> you but, did. You well, just did. Because you Rewind. brought it, you brought it up. And now I just... Who brought re- it up? You said no one knew Ali was white until she said something. <laughs> you pointed it out. No, you did. I said me. that in response. I didn't. I wasn't a part of that. It was Chris and y'all. You it was know y'all what? Too. Thank all of you for listening. I don't care if you're white, black, purple, orange, green, blue. Thank you. Don't forget about us high yellow. <laughs> <laughs> you know we the only ones oh, that like skin. you know we the only ones that like arguing like this oh, <laughs> i am caramel thank you very much it's special well we love everybody we're just clowning having a we good sure time do. we sure do you're gonna mess we around and be like call it in. <laughs> yeah like, seriously <laughs> You know, no, right now it's a no. lot of tension in the air in, in the United States, anyway. So that's a whole nother topic. Yeah. yeah you, so you, you, I'm just saying we need to like Chris, let everybody know, know you, we're Chris, just joking. Chris, we know you. I'm not going to talk politics I right can't now. Just tell chill. you don't want to. You know what? Thank right, y'all for listening politics. in. Until, exactly. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs>